to go even further beyond! Yes, sir. My name is Akashi, and in this video, I'm actually doing a real rant video. I don't do rant videos. Very rarely do I do rant videos, but I haven't seen anybody talk about this. Maybe a couple videos on the first one. But now that we've got a second one, I feel like it's there's more space to make a genuine argument about this game mode. Because it's just bad, man. The actual functionality of it is bad. This is not for me to question people that enjoy playing the mode. You can enjoy playing the mode. I did have fun figuring it out. I enjoyed it at first. I definitely did. It is fun to do, but there's a lot of issues with this mode where it's just not a good game mode. Like, just flat out not a good game, game mode. And I'm sure you guys have your own reasons, but I'm sure I'll touch on a lot of your reasons. But if you have anything that I did not mention, please leave it in the comment section below. I will be listing so many reasons as to why this game mode isn't good, like undeniably not good. Um, that's not to say you can't enjoy it because there's so many like s silly and stupid things that you can enjoy. My argument isn't about fun. It's just the fact that the game mode itself isn't a good design. And that's what I strictly think um, after playing the second release of the event. Um, but yeah, I'll just want to get into this. Press the subscribe button, man. We're on this grand to 30,000 subscribers. Um, a lot of people new here especially since i dropped the guide the guide you can see the reception on that video as well like you can just see how frustrated a lot of people are just simply due to the the um the blueprint of the game mode man it's just bad but yeah let me get into this now i sat here and thought about positives because i didn't want to give an unbalanced opinion and i know this is going to be a rant but after this thing i have to say here it's just straight ranting and i've structured it well so the points are reasonable it's not just gonna be me being angry for like however long this video is gonna be but the one positive i could actually think of is the fact that it's new just learning something new for a game oh my voice went crazy there jesus christ i'm not even cutting that out just <laughs> learning something new for a game you already like is gonna draw you in and you will enjoy it because it's the first time you're doing something not always do you have that experience but a lot of the times you do and simply just for that fact, the fact that it's new, that's the only positive I could take out of it. You have to learn how to play it, you don't know how to play it. Building new teams, doing new things is what makes something fun because it's a new experience, it's fresh. That's the only positive I could actually draw from this and almost everything else is a negative. Of course, if you're clearing it, fine, because you have whatever scenario, whatever account, you're good. But that's the only positive I could think of really, just the fact that it's new. Now, let's get into the negative man so i'm gonna um add timestamps to the video as i always do for you guys' ease of uh traversing the video navigating it makes you guys life easier the first one i have here is that the game mode is so ironic the event is built to get free to play character z power but then it's ironic because free to play players are unable to clear it unless they've probably been here since day one where they have a very built account because they've just been accumulating CC over the past three years, four years of Dragon Ball Legends. That doesn't make sense. If I'm supposed to collect a free to play unit by playing an event, don't lock it in a game mode where I can't even clear it because my box doesn't support me clearing it. Like, that doesn't make sense. That is backwards, bro. How are the free to play players that are new to the game supposed to clear the screen mode it's not a matter of them having skill or anything like that they just don't have the facilities to do so and that that's that's stupid man that's just that's just a bad design because of how difficult they made it yes you can make it difficult but there's a way they should go about it and i'm going to explain that later but the first one that the irony of the event this is another cap for free to play players you can clear it, but you're going to need the new units, and that would require you to almost summon every single LF banner. That doesn't allow you to save unless you're them first multi-type guys, which a lot of people are not, the majority are not, like literally. You won't be able to clear the screen mode to get the Z power. There's also CC that you can get through the missions, which you won't be able to get unless you summon the new units. And this even like, is a problem for a lot of OG players who have been in the game for the past four years, some people are even struggling, even I'm struggling. Like, it doesn't make sense why 
it's built in a matter and manner where you need new units because they did say it's going to be very difficult but for the reason it's difficult not because the game mode's actually difficult to play it's the fact that there's too much rng involved the word rng is going to come up a lot in this video i probably put it on the side of the screen already but it just implies random number generator meaning that it's luck it's luck based you don't get to decide that with your own player skill it's just the fact that if the game wants you to clear it you're going to clear it if you get an easier run it's because the numbers worked in your it, the numbers in the system worked in your favor the rng system for the for the event doesn't allow you to clear it unless you have stacked units or you just get very very good rng and for that to happen you're going to have to do so many trials and errors that's not a good design man it's just not more bad things about the design every time you do that wave thing where you have to dash forward and dash backwards your allies never dodge that crap bro they never do why why are they not dodging it bro like i'm literally moving forward they should follow my lead i'm the leader follow me they don't they get hit every single time they're garbage they're actually garbage bro they don't do anything but get hit they literally absorb damage they're drinking it it's free food for them bro like why why are they not following my lead why are they moving forwards and backwards literally getting hit on purpose that is insane to me that the computers are built that way like they need to do better on that part otherwise i'm not even going to be able to get through to the end by the time i even get past the first burst uh, with the 12 second bit where you literally do as much damage assuming i even do like they'll be dead and if the burst happens i'm for sure dead so like come on bro this one specifically with this gohan he pvs the hell out of you now i did find a counter to this and it's literally for you to stand still like you just stand still let your allies attack and for some reason he doesn't pv them as much even then at all he doesn't he just gets hit a lot he takes a lot of damage reduces a lot of damage and that's the case until you attack then he su suddenly wants to pv and blue card you or one of your allies if it's your allies rest in peace to them they're probably on orange health they're not making it past the wave thing they're just not like it doesn't make sense why specifically gohan has so many pvs available for him for him to just blue card you every six cards that he does even less than that man that is ridiculous specifically with gohan yes that i did say there's a counter to it but for me to not play to get the benefits that is wild in my opinion and for him to just blue card every single time it's just a lot of trial and error to the point where i literally became zakashi the copy ninja and i literally stood there and turned on my sharing gun i took off my mask you hear the ting like i literally took off my mask and just watched him to even figure out the fact that if you just stand still he won't pv like for me to have to do that that's insane and then he can still you still need to attack because you need your rushes you need to grind cards you need to do damage you need to um draw your all-out rushes bro you need these things so like i had literally had to play in a way where Every time Fusion 13 grabs him, I would then do cards. Every time Gohan attack, I would attack, so at least then he can't PV. But playing like that is sad, man. Like, <laughs> that is sad. But yeah, man, that's that's that point. I feel like this is a big issue as well. You know them all-out rushes that you get? There's a strike cards and a Blast Arts. There's two types. They're so random. You don't know when you're going to draw one, like RNG. So you just have to pray you get one. But I feel like there should be a set algorithm for you to get one. Maybe use every time you use 30 strike cards every time you use 30 blast starts you call you draw the appropriate uh all out rush and that would benefit you because you would actually um base it around your team if i'm using a blast team i'll get more blast all out rushes i'll do more blast damage essentially that would be the perfect system they could implement but with the way you just draw them you just have to pray for it man literally and that is annoying that sometimes it's just sitting on the outside of your deck you pop your main ability now it's gone because you, the ultimates took your took your slot that doesn't make sense that's a bad design like just just scrap it bro at, at least they can at least at least fix that at least man because that doesn't make any sense why i have to rely on rng to get my all-out rushes that is silly this should be a standard and i feel like something everybody saw straight away but some people brushed it under the rug because it's a new game mode and maybe the rewards for just the first time weren't as good so they're gonna bear them in the future but the rewards are just trash man they're just trash like why do i have to sweat this high effort game mode just to get some z power for a free to play unit which is probably gonna fall off very soon not assuming he, like this trunks will at the time 
but most of them probably will most likely will because they forget about free to play characters a lot and then like i get a, i get cc out of it but i don't even get rewards out of the event like that like what the hell i have to just finish the free to play event i might not want to play the free to play event i might just want cc's but now i have to grind this whole free to play character daily and then do this full power battle which is difficult as hell bad design rng based and then the full power battle doesn't actually give me the rewards like the cc straight away i have to actually grind the z power continuously then I complete all the challenges to get the CC. Like, why is that wall existing? There should be rewards that you get straight out of completing um, the full power battle. Better rewards is at that as well. For how difficult they, they said they're going to make it, the rewards need to be nicer, man. I need more out of that, man. That's just a standard. Um, look at TOP. Like, you're grinding so many steps and you get 1,000 CC. 1,000 CC is very good for how passive the game mode is. But then for this thing where I'm sweating my heart out, like, you're not even like you're not even rewarding me like that that's crazy that's crazy man this one's for the people that actually put their heart in and even though they might feel like the game mode is bad they still have the heart to sweat the game so you get to the stage where you pass the wave all your allies are probably a low health or let's say they're on high health you had good rng this time you now have to get down his bar to make sure that you get the the break if you don't get the break everybody's at one hp immediate effective immediately that's a detention bro like <laughs> straight up you, you head to the principal's office is up for you like straight away if you don't get that that break you're done they did make the break easier this time which i'm very happy they did um but it's still very difficult for a lot of people as i've seen from the reception on my previous video um lots of people still can't break it in my case i could break it i still had to put in a lot of effort but a lot of people still can't so like if they don't rush like what are they supposed to do and if they do rush then they won't be able to do damage after the the break like because they don't have their rush how are they supposed to clear it there's no way they expect them to have another rush by the second break like the second 12 seconds is it's not it's not gonna it's not gonna run like that like with the rng the way the game's working gohan gets infinite pvs but i can't draw a dragon ball at time two speed to even get my rush like it doesn't make sense how am i supposed to beat it that's the thought process of a lot of players in the Legends player base. Like, it's insane that it has to work like that. Should speak for itself. There shouldn't be a real debate about it. The final thing I'm going to touch on is the fact that the game, it was advertised as very difficult. But the reason why it's difficult isn't down to the user's skill. This one, I'm going to call it low skill ceiling. And that's just the fact that once you learn the mechanisms in the game, there's only so little more you can do to actually beat it. It's not based on, it's based on more heavily what your team is rather than how you use your team. You can use your team effectively, but obviously if you just had the boost units, no matter what, you're clearing it. Because if you just learn the game, there's only a certain amount of skill you could apply to actually beat the boss, like the bot, the full power battle boss. So at that point, it, you know that you have to dash forward, you have to go backwards, you know that you have to do damage a lot of the time. You know that, like, let's say I said you have to stand still so that Gohan doesn't go uh, PV and then blue card in you. You know that you might have to rush at a certain instance and use your all-out rushes effectively. But you still will lose a lot of the time. It's going to be a lot of trial and error because it's RNG based and not based on your skill. Your skill can only take you so far. Then it's down to the other factors that you have to consider. And a lot of those factors that you have to consider are outside of your reach because it's based on your account. And I feel like that's unfair. You should be able to have a decent account and still clear it just because you're very skillful. The, the, the full power battle mode is not how I intended they would make a game mode. And don't get, get me wrong, it's not easy to make a game mode that's competitive. Dragon Ball Legends as it is, isn't the easiest game to come around. Like, congratulate them for even making a PvP system that consistently allows people to improve in their skill. There's a, there's a, I'd like to say there's a high skill ceiling. But... There is still a part of even PvP where RNG plays a big factor. So with this game mode, I feel like the RNG coming in is too big of a factor. And I feel like a lot of you guys will agree with that because there's only so much you can do. Obviously, that depends on your account. But then how are free-to-play players supposed to get free-to-play units? The irony just strikes again. Now, I'm not just one to complain. I'm one to give solutions. I have some solutions they could actually easily provide to the game for some of the points that I made. For example, um, the all-out rush thing. This is going to be my first one. 
if they literally set a condition where you get an all-out rush every set amount of things in the game mode it would allow you to have more consistent play so that you can effectively beat the boss then i'd say it's about your timing on how you use these all-out all out rushes and it relies more on your skill rather than just the fact that you're going to draw around randomly that's one good solution there they can easily fix the teammates always taking damage during the the wave thing when you're moving forward and backwards that shouldn't i shouldn't even have to explain what they can do to do that but like i already explained earlier i'm just gonna say it again if they since i'm the leader i'm the host they should follow my movements during that period at the bare minimum that way if i get hit all of my team take the fall like it's aoe damage but then for them to just act on their own and just be reckless and get hit consistently that's dumb because now i'm in a bad position just because the rng set it so that i have to lose that's not how the game mode should work make the waves more difficult but then make it so that if i get hit everybody takes the fall so at least then i know it's my fault and i'm not good rather than the fact that the computer just beat me undeniable thing that needs to happen better the rewards just better the rewards give cc for the uh, the, the full power battle on its own and make it a decent amount it should, i say it should be top amount that's what i say we're probably gonna get one one a month for it and that's less than pvp so just adding in that extra k it's not a big deal man like it's actually not i don't see why that would be a big deal for how difficult they made it just dash it in there you know like for how difficult it is even toji said he did complete it but he had to sweat it there's no way he's happy himself there's just no way now the last solution i have is for them to actually think about the game where the skill ceiling has to increase for you to actually do better I'd want a game mode where it's like PvP, not in the sense that we have to fight each other, but where the actual skill that I have is a factor to how good I am in the game and not just numbers generating on a computer. Because if I get PV'd a million times, yes it is my fault for attacking, but the consequences of that is always undeniably going to put me at a loss and I have to basically get a perfect run to clear it against numbers that are always working against me. I need to know that my, my skill in the game is actually being the main value for why I'm winning rather than the fact that I just got a good run I'm hoping for all things to go my way and that's something I don't have an exact solution for but these guys are developers so that's something they need to work on PvP is a perfect example of them doing that well they added all these slight mechanics where how you combine every single play makes the outcome of uh, what, what, you're, what you're working towards which is a win or you might lose simply because you might have been too aggressive, you might have been too passive. What card you pressed? Obviously, there is an RNG element with the cards you draw, but at the same time, it's a little less RNG because you know if you bring, I don't know, three melee types, they might all carry strike cards. You're going to have more strike cards than blast arts, so you can't expect to have a blast arts in a situation. There's elements to there where it's specifically to your skill base, and that's what they need to do with a new game mode, and I don't feel like this is it. This is just not it, and that's my take on it. I do have fun with it, but i cannot say objectively it's a good game mode like it's it's bad it has a lot of things they could tweak they're trying but i have to keep it real that's just me though but yeah let me know what you think this video might be a bit long but i feel like it's very much deserved and i had to get it out there was no way i was holding this one in i waited from the first full power battle because i felt like it might have been too soon don't want to hit like come hard saying that this game mode is bad but i feel like this is a structured video giving fair reasonings Anything I've said, if it's just flat out wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. I don't want to come here with a big voice on this platform and then say a lot of things that are wrong. But I feel like a lot of what I've said is literally valid and there's no way around it. Of course, it is still my opinion, my space to voice uh, my opinion. And a lot, a lot of people agree with me. But at the same time, I don't want to just be saying things that are wrong. So in case I have said anything wrong, I'll take accountability for the L's that I hold because... <laughs> god damn a man makes mistakes sometimes but honestly this is my real life opinion real life opinion on the full power battle mode press that subscribe button if you haven't already on this grind to 30,000 subscribers all my social media links are at the bottom of the screens left and right this is the youtube channel we got twitter twitch reddit instagram and a discord link those are going to be in the description below i'm gonna leave it like that guys i appreciate all you guys for watching 
Let me know what you think in the comment section below. That's a big thing I want you guys to do. My name is Akashi, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.